Hey, this is Urban Dub. I'm going to talk you through one of my patches from my new Serum Rollers pack. I've really focused on sonic weight with these sounds, so you don't need external processing. It's all just done inside Serum. So on the screen, we've got a copy of Cubase. It could be any door, it doesn't matter. So let's have a listen to the sound with some drums. As you can hear, that has got loads of super lows and some nice fizzy tops. Let's have a look at this patch. Let's reverse engineer it. And first of all, I'm going to turn everything off and just start with one oscillator, which is oscillator A, which is actually analog BD sign. So now when I press play, it's going to be hard to hear the actual sound. Super quiet. The reason is because the FM gives it that volume increase and the distortion and filter as well. So as I start adding more elements, you'll start to hear more of the sound. Let's have a look at this oscillator quickly. There's no detuning, no blend, randoms all the way down, no unison, wavetable position is static. The level, the actual output, is only on 27%. I've frequency modulated it from the sub oscillator here. So let's turn the sub on. You'll notice with the sub, it's turned all the way down. It's just using the sub to frequency modulate this oscillator. So I've dropped it down an octave, and I've fine-tuned it here, which we'll talk about in a moment. So let me turn the other oscillator on, oscillator B. Um, I've used saw rounded to square. You'll see with both of them, they're really basic wavetables. It's just about keeping things very simple. If you have crazy looking wavetables, you're never going to achieve these kind of fat sounds. There's too much information to start with. So here I've dropped it down two octaves and fine tuned it up 28. Again, there's nothing going on with this detune. There's no unison. There's nothing to blend, so that's not being used. Phase is bang in the middle, no random. Um, wavetable position is static and then I've sent again some more FM so I've kept the level really low it's saying 9% so detuning these two oscillators against each other will create that kind of almost Reese effect so I've done this tuning to taste and this is the result so again it still sounds really quiet but don't worry about that when we start adding the filter and distortion and some other elements it will start to take shape and get louder and fatter and fuller. So I'm going to turn the filter on. I've used this basic filter type, which is MG Low 6. Boosted the res, boosted the drive, and then I've taken an envelope and assigned it to the cutoff and fat here. The mix is on 91%. So let's turn the noise on. I used Alpha NZ, and I've pitched it up, used the key tracking. Phase is irrelevant. And, and the level, it just literally dies down controlled by envelope one. So let's look at the effects section now. Let's start with the distortion. So I've used diode one, mixes on full, and then again, I've used envelope two to the drive. And you can hear the sound is starting to take shape. On the EQ, I've kind of done the classic smiley EQ shape where I've boosted the lows, boosted the tops, nothing too crazy going on. No modulation going on with that. I've added a hyper here, and with a mix of 12, unison on 3. To add some stereo, let's go down to the filter. So the filter, I've used a real basic filter, MG Low 6. I've put the mix to 44%, and the cuts off at 505 hertz. It's just taming some of them tops, really. And then down to the reverb. With roller bases, it's good to have a bit of reverb on it, a bit of a towel. I've put this LFO 4 on it, set to BPM sync in envelope mode, and it's on four bars. So it just adjusts and brings the mix up. So you kind of get that reverb towel. So there's some global settings which I haven't talked about yet. I've set the um, synth to be on mono with a small amount of portamento. I've put the pitch bend at plus 12, and then in the global settings, I've reduced the width of the synth um, all the way down to zero. I've removed as much stereo information as I needed and focused on mono information for this bass. When you're creating patches like this, you want to have long movements modulated by slow LFOs or slow envelopes. Shaping the sound, it's really about getting as much sonic weight out of it as possible. And I've added these mods as well. <laughs> Reverse engineering sounds is the easiest way of understanding how people make basses. Throughout the um, Serum pack, there's 80 patches you could go through and uh, just basically reverse engineer them and figure out how I've made each patch. 
So thanks for watching the tutorial. Uh, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. Hit the subscribe button. Um, I'll try and do some more tutorials very soon, but uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it.